Okay, folks, Tim here from High End Cheap Tech. Today we're going to do a little open shot tutorial, show you how to make uh, like a thumbs up button or a subscribe button. Just slide over. We're going to do it all using free software, the GIMP, to create our images and uh, open shot and how to lay it on the timeline and make things work. Hopefully you'll find this helpful. You're going to see like a button like what's about to come out right now, a little thumbs up. Uh, and it's going to make a ding noise, hopefully. Uh, we'll see. So check out the video right after the intro. Let's get to it. Alright folks, so I've already uh, went through using the GIMP. Uh, I'm going to assume you know how to create uh, image files uh, in the GIMP. Uh, so I had this bell icon. It's 200 by 200. And as you can see, it's transparent. I copied that. And knowing that my final video is going to be however wide by 720 tall I pasted a copy right on top here and moved it to the bottom now obviously if you want it to show up at the top of your screen if you wanted it to the left or the right you could make your your transparency here bigger smaller whatever uh, so in the next segment here I'm going to show you how to put it on the timeline and put a ding on there and animate it. It's really easy to do. And by the way, none of this software costs anything. So let's get to that next. Okay, folks. Uh, so now what we're going to do is we're going to kind of stitch this all together and show you how this works. Here's a first segment of the video over again. Uh, and what we're going to have here is our little YouTube notification icon, our little bell. And we're going to have it appear, yeah, right about there. We're going to right click it, hit animate, start a clip. Uh, we're going to go from the left to the middle, then and we're going to hit animate again, end of clip. Oh, uh, center to all the way to the right. Bay dot. And then we got a little ding going here. We're going to lay that right in the middle. And you're going to get a transition there uh, because I laid it up the wrong line. Should have dropped it down here. Okay. We just want to leave it there. It'll be fine. So let's see what we end up with here. Let's hit play. All right, folks. So I've already uh, went through using the GIM. Uh, I'm going to assume you know how to create uh, image files uh, in the GIM. So I had this bell icon. 200 by 200 and as you can see it's transparent I copied that and knowing that my final video is going to be uh, however wide by 720 tall I pasted a copy right on top here and moved it to the bottom. Now, obviously, if you want it to show up at the top of your screen, if you wanted it to the left or the right, you could make your, your transparency here bigger, smaller, whatever. Uh, so in the next segment here, I'm going to show you how to put it on the timeline. Okay, folks, that's all there is to it. You heard it come in. You heard a little beep. Uh, you could put that anywhere you want along your timeline. And then right when you say make sure you 
hit the notification icon and you could combine this with another image that says subscribe and blah. I'm just trying to keep it as simple as possible. That's all I have for today. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you like this kind of stuff. Uh, give me some feedback. Let me know if this was helpful at all. And keep in mind, everything I've showed you today is on free software. Uh, those links will be in the description below to get the OpenShot and to get the GIMP for Windows. Uh, or Linux. You can, it'll be built into most Linux distros. So, and so will OpenShot, actually. But this is just an easy way to have something come out, not interfere with your video. Yeah. The background's transparent. You just happen to know the height. You're good to go. Well, let's just say thanks for watching. Have a great day.